the chicken move? That thing turns now. I'm out of here. I'm gonna do like two drops. If I can't see anything, I'm leaving. You ready, James? Show me what you can do, boy. Hey, that'll work. That'll yeah. work, bro. That might. <laughs> <laughs> Surely a jump. Oh, that's fried. I can't even reach it. Pretty much now, we've driven like really far, like too far actually. But it's fine. Oh, crazy snake holes. Oof, 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 oof. This looks kind of primer if you ask me. So we're gonna try to look if there's any guinea fowl or any bird fowl. Franklin or guinea fowl is the two main I'm thinking of. So anyway, let's go. Go for it, go for it. We just missed an the opportunity. A little Franklin came flying out, but we didn't see it before it saw us. But it's fine, fair game. On to the next one. What the flip? Are you mad? This looks like dead goats. Cover must have got all of it. Go, go, go. Up, up. Okay, we found James. It's pretty deep in the bush already. He's doing the leopard crawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what James is doing his own thing, but I put him well. <laughs> we thought this was going to be like super easy. Going to get a guinea fowl for supper. Like, oh, easy, easy. But we've struggled so much. Boys are down, morale is down. Tired, hungry, down, hungry. Headache. We, we want to get hydrated. Go back to the car now and Stop wait it. for James. What? Check out, bro. What's this? Looks like fresh guinea fog tracks. Oh, shit, that is, eh? Bro. What way are they going that way? Yeah, you can see by the fork. Sure, it's That's definitely fresh because the wind would have blown it. Is yeah, it? It's like... <laughs> you see? Yeah, it's okay, see. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, you have the whole night. <laughs> you must like stand still and wait for the better shot. Like, you wait for So, we just rode up the race coast. We are super lost. It's already 20 to 6, pretty lost uh, on a dirt road, but we found a little location. But it's a bit of soft sand. I'm in the polo, and I don't think it's going to make it extremely well. So, the boy's going to have to push me quickly. So, let's go. She's a dreamy setup, the boys are setting theirs up. Uh, so quickly, while they were setting theirs up, I'm gonna actually start making the fire so we can get like a warm. We've actually pulled up to this like crazy psycho looking place, like it looks insane. Anyway, let's go start the fire. <sighs> So just scratch a little tunnel through here, comes up, up the back wall, little survival tips. Okay, let's go, now we're going to light it.
Yeah, boys. Finally, it feels like home. You're absolutely piping. Yeah. First camp on the beach. Yeah, bruh. First successful one. Oh, so stoked. Let's go. Life is so good right now. So stoked, man. Getting the fire going, you know, it always makes it feel like home. Uh, got the kettle going, ooh, some coffee, another little feel like home. Huh? And after that, pretty much just chill, cook up the food. We're gonna do the mussels in the poiki on the fire. Uh, what else? We got, we think I'm making maybe a, a bra bread. So, pretty much just a beer bra bread. So, yeah, pretty stoked, pretty excited. Anyway, so grateful for this opportunity to be on the west coast, just enjoying life, living it to the best of our ability. So Josh is busy getting out the guitar now, so we're really going to settle back and get comfy. <laughs> we need a sick little beer for the beer bread. Josh, have a beer opener. Nah, man. Don't you? Just... What? Come on. Ah! No, man. Oh! Ugh. Just. Uh, this is beer squirting out of my back, bro. I deserve a sip of that. Ooh, that was unreal. <laughs> it's it's like warm, like worse than room temperature, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, that that's not gonna help the headache. <laughs> oh, dreamy man. Then we get another one. <laughs> so how are we gonna start? This is a beer bread. So you start. With a little bit of flour. Oh, we're gonna make a nice big one. Okay, let's yeah. just chop that off. Are you gonna chop it off? Uh, not fully, but yeah, pretty much. Okay. See, I know I'm trying my hardest. Oh, it's. A little cheeky cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Flour, probably a bit too much, but it's fine. We want a lot of bread. Let's put this in there, baby. That's pretty, it becomes pretty sticky. Everything will come out of the pot. Okay, let me just use all my fingers. Oh, it's gonna be a huge bread, boys. I'm hungry. So, pretty much just eating in our chops tonight, getting lacquer full. Sleep the best sleep we've probably had in about two months. Then first thing tomorrow morning, we're pretty much stuck in the soft sandwich. There's a bit of a mess up, but we're gonna get out of this and we're gonna go for a little sunrise surf. Oh, can't wait. And what else? Oh, then we want to way home. Kind of missing home, <laughs> missing mom. <laughs> it looks proper, eh? Oh, bro, check all the onion in there. Everywhere. Oh, no, I forgot about that. Pretty yeah. much consistency you wanted where you roll it around the bowl and it takes everything else out. Once it's at this consistency, just make your coals, make sure your coals get ready. After that, boom baby, she's on and we're gonna be feasting. Before we even came here, I was speaking to Carl and I was like, yo bro, like that's the only thing I want to accomplish by like, doing this whole thing here is not seeing a road, a house, yeah, just be in the middle of nowhere, bro. Just camp. Just like this. Perfect. Just perfect. Exactly what we got. Not a house in sight, no civilization, pitch black, fire, tents. I mean, what, a little coffee. Oh. Like you say, Colin, every human being should experience this. Every Same single else. person. So I was telling Josh now, and I was like, like, everyone needs to experience this. Like, not even like, once a month or something because that's like a bit excessive but like just even like once every four months once every six months like this feeling is just euphoric like you feel on top of the world like you don't know you're like i don't even know what to say about it like it's so good you have to come out you have to experience it like and not just that by people experiencing this even the climate the climate problems people will start cleaning up and appreciate plastic nature. all of that yeah like the only like a lot of this problems with like plastic and like the way the world's going is because people are like oblivious to it so like they don't actually know like so we upset with them but they don't know like they've they never even thought plastic was a problem they didn't know turtles like choke on plastic like it's just never even come up to him like it's just so hectic. 
Yeah. It just went away. Yeah. Let's have a first hand experience like with nature to really appreciate Something it. Something to wake them up. So the bread's pretty bent, left it in too long, um, but it's fine. Let's just take it out, put it on here. Oh shit. Looks good on the inside. Yeah, oh, just let the. Let's hope it's not. Oh, it's still moist inside. I hope not. Do you think it's moist? Yeah, yeah. it's moist. Is it? It's so hot. Oh, mate! Hey! Mate! Oh, look how crusty it, that is, bro. It looks like it's his bigger brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me... Should I just grab it? Yeah, it's a, it's a dung beetle. I saw one of these earlier when I was hunting. It's pretty warm, eh? Yo, it's sticky, bro. Oh! What? How did it come out? It's looking good, bro. Let's try it. Eat it. Push eyes. What do you think? Winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's good, bro. Nice. Best to boil your mussels and everything in seawater. But seeing that we are at the ocean, that's all we have. Now we put the monster mussels in there. This bread was so good. The only thing is the bottom's a bit burnt, <laughs> so you just scrape it off. It's <laughs> pretty much how you check your potatoes are done. Stick a knife in, and if it goes through like that, <laughs> boom shakalaka. Uh, first thing I want to say is it's starting to rain a bit, which is a bit of a downer. Uh, luckily, I think my tent's waterproof enough. If not, don't know. Oh wow, that's all you could have asked for, eh? I'm frothy. <laughs> Looks a lot better than I thought. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Get it in there. <laughs> this is real camping eating boys. How hot is that, bro? Boiling. Yay, jam's a move. You reckon? Yay, bro? do it. Jam. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, you look stone high. have smoke here. Bro, so I placed my tent in the wrong place, like <laughs> the worst place. So all the smoke of there is coming in here and it's just. <laughs> frying my eyes. <laughs> oh, muscles are done. A little bit of muscle. Oh. I think it's fair to say good night. Going to bed. Look at the setup. That's all I got, baby. See you. See you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> very long I kept waking up and every time I woke up it was like 10 minutes but it was just good to hear the birds like the, the waves yeah it was insane this beach sand is not as soft as it looks at all this stuff is rock hard so my sleep wasn't that great the actual sleep but it was just where we were the location still wherever you look you can't see any civilization it's like this is a shit I dream of bro Morning bro. Morning, morning bro. How's the sleep? Nice and accurate. Uh, but long and hard. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Mine too. Those plates are full here. Yeah. Oh, it smells good, eh? Yeah. It does smell good. I'm gonna cut up some of Dreamy, oh, bro. Twelve eggs, scrambled egg, huh? Eh? 
end product. Look at that. That's the eggs. Shitload of eggs. 12 eggs. <laughs> anyway, the boys are gonna feast now for a bit. Pretty hungry. Relax, feast, and then we're gonna probably eat the road. Eh? Yep. Forty bunch gas cooker, don't forget. Yep. Alright, oh, just running down to the beach to clean my hands. You can check the little seal. I don't know if you can see it. Amazing. What? <laughs> That's psycho. Come here. I'm gonna wash my hands quick, go back, everything sorted, I'll show you the campsite, leave it as it is. You know how the rule is, you always, if you're there, leave it how it was. Show that there were no people there previously, pretty much. So this is a two-part series, the first episode is already up, if you want to go watch it. If you want to, I'll go watch it before you watch this one, it's a lot of activity, a lot of fun. We surf, spearfish, we did everything, we tried to chase down some guinea fowls. Anyway, it wasn't too successful in that, but yeah, if you guys uh, want to watch part one, I, I, we had to make it into two parts because it was becoming a bit too long. So anyway, if you want to, enjoy, go watch it, and yeah, see you guys. Yeah. So yeah, this is the campsite. There was my tent, there was the fire. If you can't see it, left it out, we came here. So if you enjoyed this, next video will be up on Tuesday. And yeah, cheers, bye. Let's go, boys. So I'm in a bit of soft sand at the moment. Um, <laughs> let's hope I don't get stuck. This is a 4x4. Four four. Hey, she's a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. Yo, why did you get out the car? <laughs> that was a waste of time. Sure. This is a proper 4x4, four four, I tell you. What do you think? 4x4? Four four? <laughs> <laughs>